So the challenge is, can I make an FLL robot and make it so you can add attachments really easily? So here's the design I came up with. Um, it's just got normal spike prime wheels. A lot of people use other Lego wheels which are a bit flatter and a bit wider. Um, not everyone has access to them though, so I thought I'd build mine out of Sprite Prime. Um, I stuck a pin on the outside to hold the yellow plates in place so the wheels wouldn't move left to right much, as in wobble. Um, I've stuck two motors at the front with cogs. And the idea being that you can add attachments to this part as you go on your missions. So it's pretty compact, it's pretty robust, it's pretty strong. It'll go straight. The idea is that you add, you can add things like this to it and then the robot will maybe, this will spin around. Um, this one might lift something. So the attachments go on and off pretty easily these special plugs which help hold the attachments in place and because they're pretty bulky and easy to grip they're easy to get on and off so you can just attach them pretty quickly and then it holds the gears in place so that they don't grind and when you want to swap them over you just whip that off whip that off and then take that off and you can add another attachment Forklift, for example, check this one out. Put it on there, touch it here, and you've got a little forklift. So, let's just see how the forklift goes, if it works. Okay, right, now we're cooking with gas. Pretty cool. Let's see how some of the other attachments go. Take that off. Lift off the whole thing. Wooshka. This is one of my favorite ones. This one can go here. Okay. Can do, I'm doing this one handed by the way because I'm holding the camera with the other hand. So it's pretty easy to attach it. That's probably enough. Yeah, obviously you code it to do what you want it to do. So I'll try it again. This one also turns around as you do it. So you could have an attachment at the top like this <laughs> and when you turn it on you go swipe 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 so this is a good attachment because it spins left and right here but it also goes up and down there which is pretty awesome so you can even have two attachments running at once <laughs> and that's the advantage of having two motors at the front I also decided to make a little gripper so this gripper is pretty compact and useful and you can see it's a pretty simple design those little yellow axles that are holding it in place well they're just tiny little ones they're not one big axle because each axle turns in an opposite direction so it just sits on top of the robot like all the other attachments and opens and closes pretty easily and well but, um, i also decided that i might have to secure it a bit to make it grip better, so I use one of my special plugs to secure it. It's nice and stable now. You can even just attach a, an arm to something like this, just really easily, um, just for a, a single little challenge that you need to knock something over or switch something. So now, when you press play, I just go back and forth like this. It really help me out if you could like this video please please press like well, for all my attachments the coding was relatively simple basically just moved in position and the arms went up and down or left and right and turned and then dropped things back at the target so let's see how this one goes robot's gonna raise its arm a little bit to start with move towards the target lift it up turn it around and drop it in the rectangle, hopefully. Yes, nice work, well done. So here's my forklift attachment, and I've added a couple of ball and sockets to it to stabilize it as it's traveling around, but it's a pretty simple construction, and it 
attaches nicely like all the other attachments but I do like to secure it with my special securing blocks just like this. They go in pretty easily as you can see. So for the forklift it was a similar coating experience. It's going to go to the target, it's going to lift it up and then drop it into the rectangle area and it looks like it's all working beautifully. Yes, nice one forklift attachment. So let's try it again from a different angle, different camera angle this time. Yeah, looking pretty good. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, it's time to test out my gripper. We'll just add this little baby to my robot just like I've added all the other attachments and I will secure it with my special brick. Here we go, nice and secure. Can I pick up my bottle? I'm wondering if I can go get that bottle and drop it in the square. Looking good so far. Nice, yes, here we go. Beautiful. This next one probably my most useful attachment because you can use it to push things, but you can also use it to drag things. So once I attached it, using the usual method of just dropping it into the holes, I used my special bricks to make it more secure. Doing it one hand is always a bit tricky, but I put one at the back and one at the front. You put them wherever you like to make it nice and secure and so it doesn't grind. The question is, can I get it to drag it into the target area? Let's go. Yes, looking beautiful, magnificent. I love these attachments, they're awesome. And how about my swinging arm of doom? Can we attach this baby and go swoop on the target, lift it up by a handle and drop it into the target zone? This one was a little tricky, but I had to go there slowly, scoop it up, pick it up and then gently place it into the rectangle of destination. Will it work? You bet it does. Tell me in the comments which attachment you like the best and thanks to my members, you legends. If you want to become a member, just hit the join button underneath any of my videos or on my channel's homepage.